Thank you. So there's an Ohio State study out there that says if you are an entrepreneur and you have a child, your child is 1.8 to three times more likely to be an entrepreneur. They say entrepreneurship is inherited. And here is why I think that is ridiculous. My father was an entrepreneur, and I wanted none of that. I didn't want to touch entrepreneurship with a 10-foot pole. When his business failed, he started selling our possessions to the thrift shop. And then he started selling them in the flea market. And when that money ran out, he started paying for the groceries with food stamps. I was a scholarship kid, and my school made all of the scholarship kids serve the rich kids lunch every day wearing a hairnet. And as we had less and less money, my dad got more and more desperate, more and more angry. And in the moments that he felt most powerless, he would lash out. He would hit us, but it was really my mom who bore the brunt of the violence. And so she made a choice. She made a choice to leave my father and raise three kids all alone. It meant that she worked every day of the week at three jobs, and she still earned a salary below the poverty line. It meant that she had to go hungry so we could eat. And even today, my mom works in a call center, and she gets screamed at every day and told to go back to her country because of her immigrant accent. But I'm never gonna forget the look on her face the day that we rented our first apartment after we left my father. So, we had been bouncing around for a couple years in whatever spare bedrooms anyone could offer us, and she'd finally saved up the money to rent an apartment of our own. And when she uncovered our eyes, this is what we saw. We saw a tiny, cramped, one bedroom that the four of us would share, with dirty walls, dirty hallways, dirty floors. But we also saw my mom's huge smile beaming back at us. She said, isn't this amazing? This is ours. This is our home. And this is the parent that taught me about entrepreneurship. Because when you think about it, there's nothing more entrepreneurial than the immigrant story, right? Like it's a story where you give up everything. You give up your cultural comfort. You give up your native tongue. You give up your home. And you go out in the world and you forge a reality that you can only imagine and not yet see. My mom taught me that the American dream was not about the acquisition of stuff. It wasn't about the house or the white picket fence. The American dream to her and to us was about choice. The choice to choose what you wanted to do. And with choice came dignity. So the past 10 years of my life have been extraordinarily privileged. I don't want to give you the wrong idea here. But sometimes I don't know what to do with that privilege. I know there are smarter people and more hardworking people who grew up in similar conditions and worse conditions that haven't had the opportunities that I've had. There are people who didn't have the mother that I had. And I know that my story is the exception and not the rule. And I don't know what to do with that sometimes. I actually found the answer at Acumen. In one of my first days training as a global fellow, Jacqueline said, Feeling guilty about your privilege is not the point. The point of privilege is to wield it, to use it to create opportunities so that others can access that privilege. And she didn't realize it. I don't even think she knows the story. But she gave me a life mission. The organization we founded, Solstice, is working to put affordable solar power in the hands of Americans who are shut out of the market. Because the problem in America is that 80% of us cannot actually get solar power. Maybe it's because we're a renter or a condo owner. Maybe it's because there's a tree covering our roof or our roof is facing the wrong way. But we're locked out of the solar market at a time where it's the cheapest in the history of the world, and it can save us money in our electricity bills. So Solstice offers community solar. Community solar means you don't have to worry about installing anything on your rooftop you can buy a portion of a neighborhood shared solar farm and switch to solar that way. There's no upfront costs and you save 10% off your electricity bill every month, which means most people can do it. 
This is the only way most of us can go solar. It's kind of like a community garden, but for solar. And we're trying to imagine this world where clean energy works for all of us and not just some of us. And honestly, I don't think we would have had the courage to imagine this world without Acumen. Because this is a community where, that believes just because you were born one way does not mean you have to live that way. And it's a community that refuses to see the world as it is and sees the world as it should be. And this is a community that believes that talent is universal, but opportunity is not. So thank you so much, Acumen. Thank you for everything you've done for me and all the other fellows. But most of all, thank you for reminding us every day that there is no more worthwhile task than to ensure our livelihoods are the rule and not the exception. Thank you.